Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about filter needles. What are filter needles and when you should use them. So to start off with, right, filter needles are just like regular needles. They look the same. The only difference is at the base or the bottom of the filter needle, there's a small little device that is used for filtering out glass and other particles. And I'll put close up to this on the screen so that you can see what I'm referencing because obviously you won't be able to see this up close. But yeah, so now you'll see the difference between a normal needle and a filter needle and you should be able to see the little contraption or the device in the filter needle that does the filtering, right? Another way you can identify it is by simply looking at the packages. They're sold as filter needles and at the back it says blunt fill needle like normal but with a micron filter. So when would you use a filter needle, right? Usually the most common scenario is use filter needles for when you're drawing your medication out of a glass ampule. And the reason for this is when you snap open the glass ampule, it is possible that small particles of glass are gonna get into that solution, right? And you obviously don't wanna inject that. So what the filter needle does is it allows you to basically draw your solution and filters out the glass particles so that it doesn't come up into your syringe. So do you need to use a filter needle always? Well, it depends. If you're drawing your glass, your, your solution uh, and your medication from a glass ampule, then it is advisable to do it because there is a risk of glass particle contamination. And I have actually written an article on this on my blog, as you can see over here, uh, an in-depth research article titled Broken Glass in Ampules, the Risks and how to avoid harm. So if you are worried about that, then go have a look at the article and just look at ways that you can reduce the risk of glass particle contamination. And in that article, you'll see that the main way of reducing this risk or almost eliminating it is with a filter needle, right? So if you're drawing from a glass ampule, then it is advised to use a filter needle. But if you're not, if you're drawing from a normal vial, then you can use regular needles for that, right? Or if you want to be safe, you can still use filter needles, but I don't really see the point there. Now, how would you use these filter needles? Well, you just use them the same way that you do normal needles, right? You just put them on onto the syringe and that's it. There's no sort of special way of doing this. And it's especially recommended that you use uh, these filter needles if you are drawing like I said from a glass ampule but especially if you're doing regular injections for example two or three times a week because then naturally your risk of glass particle contamination goes up a lot now when it comes to cost uh, filter needles are pretty much double the price of regular needles now you might be going whoa that sounds expensive but just to put it into perspective a box of 100 of these normal regular needles in the UK is about 10 pounds and a, a box of the filter needles is 20 pounds. So yeah, it's double the price, but it's not that much more if you consider that you're getting 100 needles, but I understand that for some people that cost is still something to take into consideration if you're on a budget, but you also have to look at the risks associated with not using a filter needle. And like I said, that's detailed in the blog post that I did uh, on my site. And the link for that will be in the description below and the blog is trthub.com. So, you can get these filter needles at exactly the same place that you would all your other needles, right? Whether it's from your doctor, whether it's from your medical provider, or whether it's from some medical uh, equipment website online like I do, if they sell them just in the same manner that they do regular needles, they're easy to find, just search for filter needles, okay? So that's it for today's video. I hope you find it helpful. Do you use filter needles? If so, let me know in the comments below what your experience has been. And if you've never heard of them, then let me know to what you think and maybe whether you're gonna consider using them in future, especially if you get your medication in a glass ampule. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.